I remember sitting in stations at, in uh, 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 recording sessions out at Norman's at one o'clock in the morning when the fireballs were there. I, I, they'd let me sit in the drummer's booth with Eric Budd, you know, and then Stan Clark and George Tomsko and Jimmy Gilmer and all those guys. So we were just kind of kids running around. You're listening to the original Norman Petty Trio coming to you from the streets of Clovis. playing the Anvil Chorus from 1893 on this Regina record player. This is a reception room, and uh, of course the purpose for all of this was the Norman Petty Trio, and here's a picture of them right here. Norman, Violet Ann, and Jack Vaughn. That, uh, is where the Norva Jack label comes from. Norman, Violet Ann, Jack Vaughn. You see, Norva Jack, there's the first big one out of this studio. Mood Indigo, the old Duke Ellington Mood Indigo, and the number on it for the BMI registration is 1313, which is the address of this building. This building was used, uh, and this building, uh, room was used for separation. When they recorded the song Peggy Sue on Buddy Holly's catalog, Jerry Allison was right here with the drums. The original Norman Petty Studios is a rock and roll treasure trove of history and memorabilia, honoring the man who recorded Buddy Holly, Roy Orbison, Waylon Jennings, and far more, far too many to name. We can get a delay on the song uh, of uh, Peggy Sue. He would go from here with the, uh, with the amplifier up to a speaker, into a microphone and bring it back just with the drums bring it back and bring in that sound which sound like you're doing a double take on the drums he he just and that was hardwired it wasn't wireless things he was doing this on his own with his own ingenuity and presley came along with his rock and roll and uh, and uh, jerry lee lewis and all those people and so we decided that we'd like to branch off into that so we came up to clovis and uh, and uh, Mr. Petty liked us, felt sorry for us or something, and uh, he hired us as his staff vocalist. And uh, from there, there are many artists that we got to record with. He was a very young man. In fact, he was only 10 years older than we were. So we worked well as a team. It was fantastic. All the same instruments that are still intact and in place and operative. and. Uh, and uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Celebrating the Panhandle spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC 7 News.